Well, you've played a lot of long drive out in America, but to be traveling all around the world, this is a very different experience than the Long Drive World Series, isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, just the scenery, the elevation, actually I've noticed out here has been a really big adjustment. Uh, every about five or six breaths, I feel like I gotta take a deep one in. Uh, so it's definitely something I'm trying to stay hydrated and pace myself a little I bit. I mean, all of you guys, you're all built very differently. You've all got very different physiques. Um, but I know you're at home, you spend most of your time, you're a firefighter. And so I imagine that the strength that you have for that probably helps you on the tee. Uh, yeah, I like to think so. I mean, I definitely, a lot of these guys do golf conditioning. I, I don't. I, I condition to be a fireman because that's what I do. Um, but obviously that is a lot of heavy lifting and things like that, which I do feel like helps get a good smash factor and whatnot on the ball just for physical strength. There's some really interesting rivalries on the Long Drive World Series. Is there anyone who you've come up against that's beaten you or you would love to show them who's boss once again? <laughs> uh, all of them. <laughs> um, it goes back and forth with everybody out here. It's hard to say anybody's going to beat anybody on a certain day. Um, so no, all of them. Yeah. Got the best hitters in the world out here. I mean. Uh, anytime you go somewhere where you run into guys like Tim Burke and Joe Miller, and two-time world champions apiece, it's hard to argue with the quality of hitter that you're going up against here. Uh, obviously, winning out here, it, it means something.